Hello Matrix and welcome again. Today we are finishing off our memo for the 2019 paper, paper one, and it was the NSC, the government paper. And we are finally on our last question, which is uh, question 11, it's a probability question. So, the, we've got events A and B are independent, Probability of A is equal to 0, 4, and the probability of B is equal to 0, 25. And they are independent. So independent events means that when you multiply them together, so independence, when you multiply probability of A, times probability of B, you get probability of A and B. Okay, I should have written that the other way around, but uh, here we go on the right hand side. So we've got that formula for independent events. It's not in the formula sheet, so it's something that you have to remember. Um, if we think of a, a, coin, a coin toss, it could be heads or tails. So the probability of getting a head and then a tail would be A and B, and that would obviously be a half times a half. So that's where we intuitively can get this uh, independence formula. Okay, so we know that they're independent, so we know the probability of A and B. So therefore, the probability of A and B is equal to 0 0.4 times 0 0.25, which is equal to 0 0.1. So they want us to draw a Venn diagram and indicate on the Venn diagram all of the possibilities. So here's our space for our Venn diagram. And Let's do the probability of A. Now they're not mutually exclusive, so we can overlap. And uh, yeah. so probability of A there and B. We can do overlapping here. And in the middle is the intersection A and B. So that's our 0, 1. And our probability of A then is, is 0, 4 in total. So here it'll be 0, 0.4 minus 0, 0.1, so 0, 0.3. Probability of B in total is 0, 0.25. So probability of it only being B and not A 0, 0,15, and that is our Venn diagram. So 11.2, sorry, 11.1.2 says, what is the probability of A or not B? So probability of A, they write it like this, or is it not B? So, well, let's just look at the not B bit. So if it's not B, then it's all of the bit outside of not B. Okay. Now when something is and, so let's just look at the and bit in here. So when I colored in the zero comma one and the, if we look at the yellow, when these colors overlap, that means and, because you've got yellow and red, okay? Whereas or means it could be either or. So when we look at A or not B, so we've got not B there, but it also could be A, which is the red bit there. So the probability of A or not B is going to be the red bit plus the blue bit that I've highlighted as well. 
And so it's going to be, the only bit it's not going to include is going to be the, the B here. That's by itself. So it's, it's basically going to be one minus zero comma one five. So we can say the property of A or not B is equal to one minus B only. So that's kind of like saying B and not, not A. which is equal to 0, 0,85. Right. The 11.2 says I have a motor vehicle company with five different body styles. So we've got five body styles here. And they can have four different interior colors over here. So there's four different colors and six different exterior colors. We have a showroom floor with 500 meters squared, squared and each car requires 400, uh, five meters squared of space. So the possible they want to know is it this is it possible to display all the dis, to display all the possible variants of cars on the floor so let's see so the number of lots is the number of spaces on the floor is 500 meters squared divided by 500 squared. So that's going to be 100. So therefore, I know that my variance must be, for the display to be possible, my variance must be less than or equal to 100. So let's look at the possible variance. So I'm going to do the body color in red. So if we look at the body color, it's five. It's five different types. And so it would be five times four different interior colors, but there's also these exterior colors. So let's look at the blue. So blue is here and here. So if it's a blue, there can only be five options of exterior colors. If it's a red, a gray, it can be any exterior color. So if it's gray, so blue can have six, uh, blue can have five different exterior colors. Gray can have six different exterior colors. Black, well, there's no black there, so that could also have six different exterior colors. And red can only have five because there's a red, red. So my variants are going to be five. And let's do the, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the interior colors in a light blue so that you can follow. So two of the interior colors are able to have just five exterior colors. So those would be, and we can do that in the dark blue. Let's make it green. Okay. And so they were able to have five. Okay, so this is here, the red and the blue. So, uh, so this was the blue and the red guy. So blue. Uh, red. So 
So the red and the blue cars could have this. Five different body styles, and then they could have five different exterior colors, and there's two of them, red and blue. So the two represents the red and the blue. Now the gray and the black can have all six types of exterior colors, and there's two of them. So that would be five times two, but they can have six. And that is going to equal, so five times two times five is 10 times five, which is 50. And five times two is 10 times six is going to be 60. So the number of variants is 110 total. Okay, I'm going to just make a note here. Um, I don't have gray, but I'm going to just make a note here. So these were the, these two were the gray and the black. Gray and the black were these two here. So I have 110 different variants, therefore, or not possible. Because the variance is greater than is greater than equal to 110. Yeah. greater than 110. Okay, so that is the past paper done and dusted. I uh, hope you helped it and helped, helped, hoped it helped you. And if you did enjoy it or you gained any benefit from it, please can you like the video and subscribe and I will be sending more memos and uh, explanations your way.